Good morning, folks. Short on time and sleep, so we're just hitting the highlights today. First, thank you for the warm reception to the video last night. Feel bad asking for help making it viral. In fact, I hate stuff like that, but the Electric Universe Conference, the tipping point, it's a big deal, and I'd really appreciate any help you can in spreading the word. FYI, these are the guys responsible for my favorite video ever, Symbols of an Alien Sky, which I tell everyone to watch and which is not about aliens. After three barely six-pointers in four days, Today began with a larger quake in Vanuatu, it hit 6.9 on one meter, 6.5 on a few others. We also had activity on the Pacific Ridge, followed by a fair-sized tremor in Central America. Briefly swinging up to Europe, both Romania and Poland saw slight upticks punctuated by a larger-than-normal shake. Pet and nuke plant is shut down due to a cooling system issue, no timetable for return, and those thunderstorms down under were every bit as bad as we thought, and you guys got more coming. Two primary weather features on Earth right now, and one is Super Typhoon Bofa. Gusts at 190 miles per hour, sustained winds at the Class 5 line. The leading edge is making landfall this morning, and you might want to keep these folks in the Philippines in your hearts today. The other major weather issue is in the United States. The record heat is not the story, but it's certainly a symptom. The lows are strong enough to pull straight north over nearly a continuous one-sixth of the planet. This is how the moist, warm air meets the colder air curving around the backside to produce so much precipitation. Unfortunately, the systems are waiting in line for their California dream, so don't put your poncho down yet, dudes. Double gamma bursts since we last spoke. First came from south of the celestial equator in the Phoenix constellation. The second one came out of Hercules. Solar wind density has been very high, but you see us well over that 10 protons per cubic centimeter line at points, and you see the yellow speed rising as well. This is how our shields falter. After handling the last five days with near perfection, our system is finally destabilized and let plasma penetrate, officially on our heels here. The multiple resonance from higher density has shifted to the bottom. The baseline resonance is the one showing our instability. Coming to the sun, watch this active region decay. Can't really sleep on an active region like this, but... She does appear magnetically harmless for now. No eruptions, no coronal holes, only a few southern filaments to keep an eye on. Jupiter geocentrically opposes the sun today. Eyes open, no fear at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.